So what I've done here, this is a um, three-quarter inch PVC pipe connected to a three-quarter inch female adapter. And I just had a little piece of plastic. This is actually uh, taken from the bottom of a five-gallon bucket. Um, I drilled some quarter-inch holes in there. And then what I did was I, um, I ground the I ground the uh, bottle thread completely off and with a metal uh, female uh, adapter I, I screwed that on cut new threads with with the metal uh, female adapter and then that made it so that I can easily screw this PVC connector uh, and I and I put some uh, some Teflon tape on there. You know, it doesn't really matter if this leaks at all, but I put the three, the, the um, Teflon tape on there so that it would just screw on easily. So now what I've got here is a two liter bottle. I've got a bunch of holes drilled in the top here preventing the, the water back out. And this is filled with pumice. Um, it seems to be working pretty good, but I'm uh, looking forward to trying sand. I think sand may work better. So here, I'll put it, uh, pause this, and I'll put it together, and I'll show you how it all works. Now, what I've got here is a stand. This really, I just pretty much need this because I'm doing this all with one hand and my camera, and uh, so then this connector here with a um, see, this connector here uh, goes on the bottom and at the uh, end of my hose I've got a, a valve that I can adjust the flow through here so let me get this all together and I'll show you how it works okay it's all stuck together and now I'm going to turn the valve on just a little bit here let this fill up Getting right about to the holes there to start seeping out. And it hits that connector, splashes all over. But and now that it's full, I'm going to crank this up a little bit and start fluidization. My idea is I'm going to stick this inside my aquarium, just let the water trickle out the top, and I'll have a pump that um, pumps the water in to the bottom here, rather than a, you know, I'm not going to use a garden hose. Uh, I'll hook that up to a small aquarium pump and let, uh, let the aquarium pump uh, pump through this uh, fluid fluidization filter. So, if things work out with sand, I'll make another video. Uh, got some other ideas. Um, Justin and I have uh, been talking about other media, and uh, of course, there's K1. Caldness would be, you know, just great to use, but uh, it's so expensive that we would like to find something that works uh, equally as well and costs maybe a tenth the price. And I think we've got some ideas on that. We'll probably be experimenting with that, too. Okay, I'll talk to you later, and uh, hopefully the sand works out.